We just got our hands on the new Sony Alpha 7S III camera. Sony asked us to push it to its limits. So we got kind of a crazy idea, something we always wanted to do and have never been able to. But yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. Trying to shoot our friend Andy Lewis highlining between two spiky desert towers. On top of that, he's doing it without a rope, fully free solo. Oh well, yeah, here we are on top of the bust of Cap Gap, getting some sunset action, baby, with the full moon. With the full moon fully encompassing his body. And it turns out it's a really complicated thing that we've been working on for months to get this really once in a lifetime low percentage image. I just hope we didn't bite off more than we can chew. Right from the beginning, things were going wrong. First attempt, total failure. You can see the moon up there that we missed. As the next full moon approached, everything we had done, we had to throw out the window because every full moon cycle, the alignment changes. Racing the light here, total failure. That was it, we missed it, so we had to wait yet another month. Just starting to see her. Just how bright the moon is compared to the landscape, you really have to have a camera that has the highest dynamic range of anything I'd ever seen. Can you see the planets on the, you can see them? Just like while you're rolling? Yep. Oh my God, that's amazing. Wow. So here we are in July and we've got the new Sony Alpha 7S III with its updated low light capabilities 10-bit color and everything else. For years, our greatest limit has always been not having the technology that we can film in these really low light conditions. The Alpha 7S III on the drone for the first time at 16,000 ISO with a 24 millimeter lens wide open. Blown away that it was even possible to fly a drone in the middle of the night and see anything without any supplemental lighting. Make sure everything looks good at 1,600 or 16,000 ISO. Oh. Thank you. It's still weird saying that. Things are looking cloudy. It could be really cool. We could get shut down, but we're gonna we're gonna try no matter what. Not light. <laughs> dialing it in and the moon should set in about five minutes. The one thing about this particular shot is that small window of opportunity that you have to pull it off. And on this project, I don't think the margin could be smaller. Twice a day, we get about a one minute opportunity to try to capture everything in alignment, the moon, the towers, Andy on the high line. The line is up, you can see the line, check that out. It's gonna be epic. Yeah. Right at the key moment, a giant bank of clouds comes in and shuts us down. Everything ruined. So sorry, Andy. You must be exhausted. It is three o'clock in the morning. And we've got one more chance. So Getting down to the wire here. We need to go right. We need to go right. Keep going. The plan was for Taylor to get a closer shot, which she had carefully calculated, and for Kyle and myself to go another two miles into the distance. Now we're utterly screwed if we have to sprint right, because we're, there's a gi giant cliff ravine. Kyle, let's pick up and run back. And after four months of trying this, it's all falling apart. As we fall this, we're getting pushed out of the way. I know, but... We have to make it up again. I was trying to get to that far ridge. It's, a it's all close right there. This is not good. 
Everything's falling apart. I don't know, we're gonna miss it for sure. Totally screwed this whole thing up. After months, months of effort. By far the most beautiful video shot we've got of it yet. Like, it's pretty much magic. Wow, that's looking amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, look at this. 120 frames per second at 4K in the dark. F45. ISO 16,000. Oh my God, he actually did it. No safety leash. He's fully free solo right now. Like the timing of it was absolutely magical and it looked stunning. Woohoo! Oh, he's walking on the crater of the moon. No rope in the dark. Unbelievable. Some of the best shots of our lives right here, guys. Really, really impressive feat of art and climbing, all the technology. Amazing, man. Thank you so much. That was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, he's crying.